Hey what's up YouTube, Mars here and today I'll be recapping my GoFest experience. I think overall this GoFest was a lot better than last year's, especially the shiny rates. I felt like I was getting a bit more shinies than last year for the amount of Pokemon I was checking. I think the raids were alright, I would have liked to see a lot more different Pokemon in the raids. We started off the day by leveling up some friendships on the Lucky Egg so we can get that double XP. If you don't already do this, I really recommend doing this for those XP gains, huge XP gains as you'll see. I'll show you the XP I had before and then after it's done. And it was a pretty big jump for this amount of friendships and then plus I still did a couple raids afterwards. After this, we'll go ahead and look at all the shinies that I got. A couple of raids that I did. I did a lot of raids but I'm gonna go ahead and save you guys the time because there's so many raids and nothing really good came out of them. And as well as my Diancy, we'll go ahead and see her IVs. Did I get a good Diancy? Alright, so I was at 4.8 mil before all of this. Now let's go ahead and see how much we get. So that's 100k right there, another 100k right there, another 100k right there. We're at 300k, 400k, 500k, 600k, 800k, 900k. A million shout out to my cousin for the million and then we finished off with 1.1 million I could have and I should have stacked more of those up but I suck at sending gifts so that didn't happen we get to 5.9 now let's get into the shinies for the first shiny of the day we caught a giraffe rig really nice shiny I thought I had this one but I actually didn't so this one's new to my collection also I had like 900 ultra balls at the beginning of the go fest and I ended up with like 80 so I killed all my ultra balls Next up we have this Helio Tile, really nice looking shiny. Also didn't have this one, so it's really cool to catch this one. Next up we have a shiny Diglett. I think I had this one, but it's still pretty cool to have. I think this was like a community day, or maybe it was the Lolan one, I can't remember at this point. Shiny Gibble, also community day one, but still nice to have. Next up we get a shiny green tiara Pikachu, really cool. After catching the first shiny Pikachu, I kind of wanted to collect all of them, especially because the next one up was the blue tiara one. So it's really nice. I had two out of the four at this point. The order of the shinies is the same order that I caught them in. So next up, we got a shiny Carvana, really nice looking shiny. I already have the shiny shadow, so not too stoked about it, but still really cool to have. Next up, we got shiny Woobat, also a new one to my collection. In my opinion, the best looking shinies are the shinies that have a completely different color than the original. So this one passes that test. Another shiny Pikachu. This time we got the pink tiara one. All we're missing is the yellow tiara one. Were we able to get it by the end of GoFest? We'll see. Now we got a shiny Wismer. Pretty cool looking one. I think I might have had this one. Not too sure. I went ahead and checked to see if this was actually new. Unfortunately, it wasn't. I already had one. This next shiny I was really looking forward to and we got a shiny blue poniard. Really cool looking shiny, so dope. It's one of my favorite looking shinies. It has such a nice color and I love when you evolve it. The hints of yellow. I'd have to say that's one of my highlights from my go fest. Now let's see what else do we get. Shiny binacle, another one that I didn't have. So really cool to add to the collection. Shiny Sandshrew, really cool shiny. I already had this one. Me and my friend traded both the regular and the Lolan shinies and we got luckies back to back. No lucky friends either. Super crazy. Another dope looking shiny. We got the blue Psyduck. Super cool looking shiny. Really love this Pokemon. Another new shiny to the collection. Shiny Fomantis. Pretty cool looking one. Not too different from the original. I haven't seen the evolution so maybe it can be redeemed. Here was the first raid of the day, Primal Groudon. I already have a Primal Groudon and I already have a pretty decent shiny. It's a 98 IV, so at this point I'm just looking for the Shundo, which my Shundo luck is so bad. I'm level 44 and I've yet to get one Shundo at this point. I was glad that there was no limit on remote raids for the weekend, but it's just sad. Why did they take that feature away in the first place? So that was my Groudon raid. Now let's go ahead and check out my Diancie. Do we get anything good from this? I stopped playing Pokemon since Diamond and Pearl, so I don't really know all the new Pokemon that well. I believe she's a mythic Pokemon. 
I love having to catch the mythic Pokemon. The background is just so nice. I wish you can do it a bit more often or or that they made these detailed backgrounds a bit more often. It's so nice compared to just like the regular grass that we had to catch on. While we're catching this Diancie because it was kind of hard for me to catch her. I have to say that Niantic did a pretty good job with this GoFest. Like I said, it was really nice to see the unlimited remote raids. The only thing is that the price is still high. I wish it would just have never been taken off to begin with. Raiding was my favorite thing to do in the game and it kind of sucks because I don't really have too many things to do now. I just pretty much shiny hunt. I feel like the shiny rate was a bit better compared to last year, at least for me. Let me know what you guys think down below. Were your shiny rates pretty good? Did you guys catch a lot of shinies? The one thing that sucked was it was almost like 100 degrees both days, so I couldn't really play as hard. And here's my Dancy. I got a 2 star, unfortunately. Now back to the shinies, we got a shiny horsey, pretty cool looking one. I like the shade of like greenish blue that it has. Another one for the collection and the last shiny for the day was a shiny Caterpie. I didn't have this one surprisingly, so it was pretty cool to catch this one. And that's pretty much it for GoFest day one. Now on to GoFest day two. We started it off with a Mega Rayquaza raid. Everyone's been waiting for this Mega for so long, especially for the people that have been waiting for this to drop. We've been remote raiding, not being able to Mega Evolve it. Now we finally can. I have a few shiny Rayquazas already. I was just looking for either the Hundo or the Shundo. This would be the perfect Shundo to get. Let's go ahead and see. Do we get a shiny from the first raid? No, we don't. We're going to go ahead and catch it. I was catching them with the Pineapple Berry because they were a lot easier to catch. I hope you guys figured that out and we're using Pineapple Berries, not your Golden and Silver Pineapple Berries. After getting enough energy, we're going to go ahead and evolve my shiny Rayquaza with the highest IVs. We have to swap out the aerial ace move for dragon ascent in order to mega evolve it so we swapped it out he learned the new move and we're gonna go ahead and mega evolve it let's go ahead and see how this looks i don't know why but seeing the mega evolve for the first time on any pokemon is so satisfying really cool animation it's such a sick looking shiny love it same thing with the shiny primals really nice shinies I became best buddies with my Rayquaza like a day before GoFest, so it was really nice to have. Dude, it's just such a sick looking shiny. Love it. And here are the IVs for it. Here was the first shiny for day two. We got a shiny time pool. It's a nice looking shiny. At this point, I wasn't really having the best shiny luck, so I thought day two was going to suck. But then we end up getting a shiny Bagon. Didn't have this one. Was really looking forward to catching this one. So glad I did. I didn't evolve it though, unfortunately, so I didn't get the Calm Day move. But I do have a lot of Elite TMs if I ever need to do it. Another new Shiny, Shiny Skitty, pretty cool looking one, even though it's a slight change from the original. Another Shiny Sandshrew, pretty nice. At this point, my girlfriend was having some crazy luck. She got two Shiny Gummies and a Shiny Snorlax, super lucky. Another very nice looking Shiny, the Shiny Wormpole. I already had one, but I love the color on it, so I didn't mind getting another one. My girlfriend actually had caught this one a bit earlier in the day, so I really wanted to get this one. I was glad to get a shiny Wobbuffet. After doing a lot of raids, looking for the Hundo, the Shundo, even a shiny, I was having horrible luck. The IVs are really bad. I don't even think I got one above 90 at this point. They just sucked. Until I ended up getting the shiny. So I have four at this point. This one had pretty bad IVs, but I'll still take a shiny one. Good for trades. A quick question. Do you guys say Rayquaza or do you guys say Rayquaza? I've just been so used to saying Rayquaza since I was little. But yeah, here are the IVs. We got a two star. We caught a shiny Gumi. So happy to get this one. And I didn't have to trade my girlfriend for it. Really love this shiny. All we need is the shiny yellow tiara Pikachu. Next up, we got a shiny Beldum. Already have one. And I already have the shiny shadow, but I love this shiny so much. Really dope looking shiny. One of my favorites. Here was my last shiny of the day. We had left like three hours before the GoFest ended. It was just too hot. We wanted to go get some food. We were at Kane's and I managed to snag this one. So it was pretty nice. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I didn't get the yellow tiara Pikachu. One of my friends is going to trade me one in the future. Hopefully. Shout out to you, Dino. But yeah, let me know your experience down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you guys don't mind, leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I really appreciate it. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.